turn off this um, volume for this one. Turn the volume down all the way. Hi guys, this uh -huh. is Jackie M from Masters of Malaysian Cuisine and I am so incredibly privileged and excited to bring to you our biggest of our MOMC series yet. And starting today for the next four weeks, we are going to be cooking dishes from uh, Her Majesty Tunku uh, the Queen of Malaysia, Tunku Aziza's cookbooks. And we're starting today with a fabulous lineup of Chef Norman Musa and also Brunei influencer Tanis Lim. So welcome to you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. And also do a hashtag live if you're watching this live and hashtag replay if you're watching a replay of this. And like I said, we're so incredibly honored to be um, to be tasked with cooking recipes from Tunku Aziza's cookbooks, uh, which you can check out at cheminasayang.com. And we'll post all the links in our comments in a little bit. But just let me quickly play you a clip from Tourism Lake. We'll come back in 30 seconds. Truly Asia. Hi, thank you. I'm back again. And welcome to Chef Norman. Great to have you. You can hear the crinkling of your back <laughs> right now. Sorry. But, That's my salary. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, no worries. Okay, guys, and don't forget to say hello. Let us know where you're, where you're watching from. Like I said, in this particular series, all our chefs, our masters of Malaysian cuisine, have picked a recipe each from the cookbooks of uh, Her Majesty, the Queen of Malaysia's cookbooks, um, which we'll put, post a link to in our comments in a little bit that you can check out. All right. So, uh, Chef Norman, what are you cooking today? Yep. I'm going to be cooking this chicken uh, braised in coconut gravy. Um, Here's what I found on the web. Oh, sorry. My phone decided to talk to me. Okay. First of all, Junior Kase Tuanku. So hopefully I'm going to do the justice with the recipe. But actually, I tried it this morning, The this dish, Ayam Masa Unkep. And it's actually really, really good. And I would say it's like a family friendly as well. Hi, Tanis. Hi, Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be cooking today. And I'm actually, the... The ingredients itself is like very easy. Um, it's easy to uh, to get all the ingredients, and it's actually uh, almost similar like rendang, but with less ingredients. That's what I can say. So I hope that's gonna inspire you to cook after you watch me cooking today. Yeah, it sounds fantastic. All right, guys. Yeah. Again, thank you so much for joining us. We are very very excited to be privileged um, to be tasked with um, the privilege of using recipes from the Queen's cookbooks. So um, make sure you set aside your schedule for the next four weeks. Our first session here with Chef Norman Musa. In a couple of hours, we will have Zaleha open, and she will be co-hosted by uh, Marco D. But in the meantime, we've got Tanis Lim. Tanis is the undisputed king of uh, Brunei's blogging food blogging scene and influencer. <laughs> It's the king of Brunei. Oh, yeah. That is very well known in Brunei. Yeah. He is. Awesome. He is very much so. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you two to it and I will come back and join you back on screen in a little bit. So, okay. all the very best, guys. And yeah, okay, I'll be back. All right, see you later, Jackie. Right. It, thanks, everyone. First time I see Hello, okay, cel celery in, in, a, in a rendang or a gravy kind of chicken no. dish. <laughs> well, actually, um, I have to improvise a bit because uh, uh, in the recipe, it says that um, the celery, so when you say the celery, dog soup, you familiar with dog oh, soup dog in soup, Malaysia? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah, that's yeah, obviously yes. the smaller version of this. So I couldn't find that mm. uh, in the supermarket. Mm. Um, in the Chinese supermarket, so I opted this. It's almost similar, okay, but the yeah, different yeah. family, different, yeah, the different type. So I just pick, yeah. So this actually for garnishing. So it's not going to be yes. in the in the curry itself. Oh, yeah. right. no, no, hey, hey, wait a minute, celery. Yeah. <laughs> that's something. <new. laughs> no, that's what I thought. It's like when I first saw, it's, it's actually for the garnishing. So for Malaysian oh, cooking, yeah, we yeah. always like put all the garnishings like uh, on the top. Yes. So for this one, we're going to have the spring onion and also for uh, so the celery to be on top okay mm -hmm. so like first of all i'm just gonna say hello uh assalamu alaikum to uh, everyone watching from malaysia and also from netherlands it's still early nine o'clock 
Uh, so it's no, it's, yeah, it's, it's nine o'clock. I haven't changed my watch yet. So. <laughs> what, what's the <laughs> it's ten o'clock. Yeah. It's like ten o'clock. <laughs> yeah, so it's very cool. I can see that now. It's like wet and grey. So apparently today is mm. going to be uh, raining all day. Uh, so mm. yesterday was like one degree Celsius. What's the wow. temperature like in uh, in Brunei, Tanis? Mm -hmm. Temperature in Brunei, I think around the, uh, high 30s, I think. That's okay, wow. Well, yeah, it's very, must be very humid. Right, mm, okay. Very, so very. are you ready to watch me cooking? Yeah? Yes. I'm sure Can't wait. Um, okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to spend more time of uh, getting these uh, ingredients ready, which are actually quite interesting because there's some tips actually that, uh, that how to prepare all these ingredients. Mm -hmm. So first thing first, what I'm going to do is, so I have here, I don't know if this camera can see it. Uh, so this is like a, a mixture of coriander, uh, coriander seeds, two, mm -hmm. tablespoon, uh, two tablespoon of coriander seeds and also a teaspoon of cumin. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to toast this, or Malaysians call it sangai. Let me just uh, quickly just toast this. Just get my pan ready. So basically, you have to toast this for like uh, just like uh, about a minute or so until you can start smelling it. Just put on the low heat. So we have like a few more spices that I'm going to run through. So I have here, I don't think you can see it. So this is like a teaspoon of uh, white pepper, uh, white peppercorns. And then I have here this cinnamon stick. Uh, I have here a cardamom pot. So it's about uh, four cardamom pots. And then cloves, lots of cloves, about 10. And this is a camera, pointing to the camera. Go find the camera. So these are all the spices that we're going to kind of assort it together uh, with uh, spices, which I'm not going to blend. But um, when I say blend, it's like, a, it's like grind it into a powder. So what I'm going to do uh, only with the cumin and also coriander, yeah? Let's see whether you can see the. Let me just point the camera to here. Can you see the pan? Or maybe I just like uh, turn it like this. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. We can see the yeah. pan. So now. they're gonna toast it, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna toast these two spices. I'm gonna keep it like a medium heat. It's fine. I have to call the camera like this. Have you heard of this dish uh, before? Yes. Chinese. Okay. No, have not you this heard one. Of this dish? Yeah. This, is the, this is the first time I've heard of uh, ayam yeah. uh, Even when I Google it, don't cup, don't cup. A lot of them cup, say, no, okay, yeah. Yeah. So, cup, so yeah. it is new to me. I thought it was so, kurma in terms of color. Uh, yeah, well, it, it's not like kind of a grayish like kurma. It's, it's more like yellowish because it's turmeric. No, yeah, yeah. It's turmeric. Yeah, it's kunyit. There's a turmeric in it. So I use the fresh turmeric. So, but again, if you don't have the fresh turmeric, uh, so for this one, it's about five centimeter. Also, mm -hmm. uh, you can always just replace with the uh, ground turmeric, yeah, or turmeric powder. Okay, let's see. Fresh is always better. <laughs> uh, yeah, fresh is, is now it's easily to get. Like uh, I bought from this uh, fresh market here in the in mm -hmm. the half we uh, the head we have this fresh market. It's mm -hmm. a, a bowl, a big bowl of a uh, fresh turmeric. It's only one euro, so I still have okay. it. For <laughs> I actually bought uh, quite a lot of ingredients because I was uh, getting my calendar, recipe calendar ready. Uh, so, so it's now mm. it's on my website. If anyone wants to download, uh, this is 12 curry recipes, right? So, uh, yeah. so you can go to my website, uh, nomamusa.com. So it's only about two, two euros. It's, it's not too bad anyway. Yeah. So, okay. So it looks like it's ready now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, use the spice grinder. I'm just going to put the camera back. Uh, so put here. So I have the spice grinder here. How, how do you usually know when it's ready, yeah? the, the spice, the toasting? You can smell it, yeah? Mm. You can smell it. You need to be very careful because you don't want to burn all these uh, spices. When I say mm. burn, it's like over toast it because it's going to turn your uh, spices bitter, yeah? Mm. This is something that I always teach uh, at my <coughs> cookery schools, uh, especially like in London. In London, and I have one in Amsterdam as well. So um, yeah, so I'm going back to the UK next year just to uh, to run more cookery classes in yes. 2021. Well, hopefully I can travel. for well, hopefully it's gonna be better again, like in February. Okay, noise. <laughs> <laughs> I 
looking for those how we can actually just use a, a pounder, I just pound it. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, according to this recipe, the two ways mm. how, uh, of preparing the spices, the, the black pepper corn, which I'm not going to mm. toast them, I'm just going to pound using the pestle and mortar, okay? Mm. So but for this one, you just have to turn it into fine powder. Oh, then, yes, the fine powder, lah. Well, you can always keep this process by using the ground, uh, ready-made uh, ground as, uh, as mm. coriander and as a cumin, but I think you're going to lose that kind of a special fragrance uh, of the spices. Yes, yes, definitely. Let me see, yeah? So probably oh, you can't okay. see. So it's, it's nice, really nice smell. Yeah, so that's why you always, you always need more of the coriander seed. Mm. Okay, so that should be ready now. And then, with this uh, white pepper, okay, so white pepper, I'm just gonna pound this. So this is, <laughs> do you know like a Malaysians or Brunei, uh, so, or even Indonesians, like we always just pound it like this. But yes, over yes. here, I learned something like the Westerners, they always just grind it like this. <laughs> <laughs> they like to grind them. <laughs> actually, it's better actually, yeah. Is to do that serious? <laughs> yeah, it is actually. So, uh, especially the, yeah. the one we have is actually quite uh, coarse, uh, the the stone, uh. it is. so it's yeah, quite it easier is. to grind, grind like that. I can see that how fine that is. Oh. Well, maybe you can't really see it. Yeah. So mm. all right. Okay. Yep. Yes. So okay. So that's right. the white pepper, then. Huh? Yep, white pepper. So we have the. I'm gonna grab a bowl. Let's see. So I'm gonna transfer this. So the spices, uh, coriander and cumin, put it together. And then the white pepper, just gonna grab a spoon. Okay, so I'm not gonna rinse this because we're gonna pound the next batch of ingredient, right? So which I have here, let me just move this away first. We got Bob, Bob from KL saying hi, eh? Bob Adnin. Bob, oh, yes, Chef Bob, yes. <laughs> so I guess all the chefs are watching watching now because I'm doing the first one. So everyone's getting so nervous about cooking up Her Majesty's <laughs> <laughs> recipe. You don't want to make a mess out of this, I guess. <laughs> Thanks everyone for choosing me the first for to be the first one because when the, all the chef kind of like uh, choose like when they're gonna be uh, cooking right so everyone yeah. skip the the first part so mm -hmm. yeah, so me and Zaleha so we took the the challenge to cook it up first right okay so for the um uh, what I call normally call like wet ingredients so when I say yeah. wet ingredients all the herbs yeah but first yeah. I'm gonna slice the onion okay so just like onion is about 150 grams so you can get like about two medium onion. Mm -hmm. Just move this away first. You can see this. So this one just like a thinly slice. Wow! I notice you're using a, a Asian cleaver knife. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I always travel with my Asian cleaver. I have my yes. like I have all these expensive like a uh, global knife, but this is actually yep. the best because like yes, uh, yes. very strong. You can hold it. I think we're, we're so, used to this kind of knife, <laughs> the cleaver. <laughs> so when you hold this, this kind of like the size uh, of this knife, and then everyone's going to be so scared looking at you, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, my um, plastic chopping board making a noise. Someone is complimenting on your fashion today. You look great today. Mine? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Someone's commenting well, on your on what you're wearing. They like what you're wearing. Really? Pakaian cantik hari ini. So it's for the queen. So you have to dress up well. So I try to avoid like I normally I wear the like white t-shirt, uh, sorry, very tight t-shirt. And then Jackie was always joking about uh, showing off my uh, packs and nipples and everything, <laughs> which is really inappropriate. Right. Okay. So how do you, I mean, <laughs> so the, the batch of ingredients that I'm gonna pound. So I have here a uh, gallon gal. So I'm just gonna put it here so you can see it. Okay, galangal, and then uh, fresh turmeric, mm. kukuma, they call it here. And then this is a uh, ginger. Galangal, yes. <laughs> yeah, and then we need two cloves of uh, garlic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna put, just gonna uh, just chop it, roughly chop them. 
And then after this, I'm going to put in the uh, pestle and mortar. I'm going to pound them. So this is what I said, like, uh, it's almost similar, like a, a rendang dish. Yeah, so, but it's, uh, but this one has no chilies and no, uh, no chili. lemongrass. Mm. No chilies, no lemongrass. So I'm just going to use the same mm. pestle and mortar. It's like, uh, I didn't rinse it because it's just a uh, white pepper. Mm. Okay. So now I'm just going to pound this. So I'm going to create a bit of a noise. But I'm going to put this first. Mm. <laughs> That's for the grip, huh? <laughs> yeah. So it's, otherwise, it's going to make create lots of noise. So we don't want that. This is quite similar to a Penang dish called turmeric chicken, also, huh? But it's, the uh, turmeric chicken they don't use, they don't use In oh, Penang, they, they got a dish called turmeric chicken as well. Really? Uh, I am going yet. I, I am not I, going oh, yet, but I they don't use right. coconut. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, that's more like a stir fry, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a bit of a braised lard, also. Just that without the coconut milk. Quite similar. Yeah. And not so much spices. But mostly on the herb know, side. You know, looking lot, at the ingredients. Yeah, looking at the ingredients like um, that going into this dish, right? I'm just thinking like whether this was actually created before mm. even the Portuguese kind of like uh, landed in a well, before yes, the yes, Portuguese yes. introduced in, introduced chilies because we use lots of like peppercorns to get the spiciness yes. before. So uh, mm. before the chilies were even mm. introduced, yeah. <clears throat> so if you want it really spicy, you can always add more uh, peppercorns. Okay. Mm. Because someone asked me before, what's the difference between black peppercorn and white peppercorn? So white peppercorn mm. is actually um, the, uh, what you call it, the, the skin, kind of like the cover of uh, black mm -hmm. uh, skins, like being removed. So that's why you get uh, white peppercorns and it's more delicate. The, the flavor is more delicate. Mm. Okay. Ah, yeah. Someone has a question for you. Is, yeah. it, is it easy to find Bunga Kantan in Netherlands? No, it's not. I keep telling everyone, if you want to be an uh, instant millionaire, just supply Bunga Kantan, the ginger torch. The torch <laughs> <laughs> but again, in Malaysia, Brunei, it's even difficult to get it as well, right? Because uh, mm -hmm. it's like a seasonal or it's not available all the time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Another question, uh, yep. Sabraski was asking if, if you can put chili into this dish. Ah, uh, well, you don't want to upset the queen, do you? So, <laughs> well, <laughs> stay, stay true to the authenticity. Yeah, well, if, if you do that, so uh, that's going to turn out to like, or maybe it's going to turn out to a different di uh, dish. Okay, so, um, mm -hmm. but the, just try to, I think this is like a child friendly uh, dish. So you can mm. um, cook for your children, actually. This is really good. So, right, let's have a look. So that's how you want to pound this. Oh, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's get the pan ready. And uh, other ingredients that I'm going to need. So this is about 400 ml of uh, coconut milk. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then also tamarind. So tamarind the paste. Mm -hmm. So we're going to season with salt and sugar as well. Oh, sorry. One more thing. This is another thing like, have you crossed over this before? You, you're supposed to pound this ingredient with salt. According to the ah, recipe. Yeah, 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 I heard about that, yeah. So um, it, it helps to um, let the flavors melt better if you put salt and also adds as a kind of like a what do you call that? A, like a what do you call that? Like a cross cross surface for you to actually mix the ingredients better. Okay, let's see. Hot, hot, hot salt, right? Or just the regular salt? It's this one uh I have the pine sea salt. Yeah, uh, sea, salt. Salt, uh, sea salt. Yeah, so it's actually mm. just really good. Mm. Should have done that. I think they do. They do the same thing again with the with the spices. Yeah. So mm. some people like they just like found it with the with the uh, with the salt. Yeah. Good okay. Day. Right. So the pan is ready. Let me do something. Just a sec. Okay, so um, so we're getting the pan ready. Just try to get a bit around here. 
on the uh, this one is going to go so i actually have another cooking demo to do after this because it's a back to back so i'm going to be cooking until like mm -hmm. i so the next one is going to be uh something quick a salad that i'm going to do with a tauge with a bean sprout yes uh, <laughs> yes so uh so that's for my uh, campaign that i run with jackie and also carrie it's a seafood revolution so it's c is for southeast asian food revolution so that's what we uh, introducing healthy uh, eating uh, with the southeast asian so we introduce something healthy for people to eat southeast asian dishes right so i'm going to heat up the oil to begin with so that's about four tablespoons and then what i'm going to do now i'm just going to mix so all the spices so you have the uh, white pepper white pepper uh, coriander cumin and i'm going to mix it together with with the paste that i've pounded <clears throat> oh chef some good news for you someone just mentioned yeah. that you can get bunga kantan in the netherlands but it has to be in the japanese supermarket oh really no, that's what they say. <laughs> Japanese supermarkets. When I, was, when I was doing my cooking show before, um, there was a there was a chef that uh, put bunga kantan, and it's about it's like tiny, about that size. Mm -hmm. That was about ten euros. Can you imagine? Wow. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know. So that's what I say. Like, if you want to be instant millionaire, you can like uh, export. So bunga kantan in the Netherlands. Yeah. The only problem like with the bunga kantan, the salt ginger, because uh, it, it's not so delicate, so you need to freeze mm -hmm. them, uh, so you cannot like yeah. uh, export it like fresh, because it will go black uh, very quickly. Okay, right, mm -hmm. so we have the paste ready. So this is yeah. stage like when, uh, let me just like, so you can keep this, you can prepare in advance, you can keep it. So I'm gonna fry this, this one, the spices. So we have the cardamom pots, we have the cloves, and also, um cinnamon stick mm. and stirring all this and just uh put a camera here you can see it better yeah. yes yes you can see it oh lovely nice yeah Chef, we're gonna get the so recipe well. online online right we can get the complete recipe yes, later yes yes so uh, all the recipes by the chef uh momc chef will be available uh after this okay so fry this until fragrant so it's only about like a, a minute or two until you can start smelling so i keep the heat low okay it's because mm. i don't want to burn these ingredients because like lots of like uh, spices that you don't want to mm. burn this mm, i can smell all the way from brunei already it's <laughs> 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 good so this is what I said, like the process, the cooking process is very, very simple. Okay. So mm. first you fry, you saute all this ingredient first. And then after that, we're going to put in the chicken. So mm. Malaysian, yeah, probably they're going to use like a chicken on bones. Right. Mm. So, but mine is just like a boneless chicken thigh. Okay. So mm. it's like in a, cut in small pieces, which actually is going to um, be quicker actually to cook. Because I mm. cooked a batch before, which I'm going to show you after this, because the simmering process is going to take about 45 minutes, between 45 yep. to, a, to an hour. Okay, so depending if you use the chicken and bones, obviously, it's going to take a lot longer. Mm. Right, okay, so now so we're going to add the chicken in. So that's about 700 gram. So we have the uh, coconut milk. So this is Oh, so you, you add it instantly together? Yes, all together. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have the onion, so the one that's mm -hmm. sliced. Okay. Oh, so this is very it's, different. Like, it's good, yeah. right? Because like you don't have to sort the onion first. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's quite yeah. easy, yeah? Yeah, it's <clears throat> easy, yeah. So it's and a, then, it's um, a one, a one pot dish. One pot dish. Actually, it is going to look, uh, it's going to cook a lot better yeah. in, um, in a slow cooker actually yes, so definitely. salt i'm just gonna add about half teaspoon uh because mm. this is quite a strong salt because uh sea salt and also sugar it's just mm. about like a half teaspoon only okay and then 
another ingredient, which I'm gonna put this back here. So I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna bring this to boil. Another ingredient I'm gonna add in, the tamarind paste, yeah? So I'm just gonna mm. add in a, like a, only one, about one tablespoon. That's it. <laughs> Assam, yeah, that's it, Assam, yeah. Mm. Okay, so now we're gonna bring this to boil mm -hmm. and then we're gonna simmer it down. Okay, so simmer mm -hmm. it down. And that's why it's gonna take uh, that's why it's gonna take about like a 45 minutes or so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you simmer it with the with, with lid on or you just leave it like that? No, you just leave it like that. Because uh, <clears> if you put the yeah. lid on, right, so the steam gonna trap and then it's gonna be more water so like a liquid All going right, right into your dish yeah so it's like it's like a rendang actually you want to um, yeah simmer it like with the yeah uncovered that's it so this is what it looks like now mm -hmm. okay so it's very watery and of course like once you start cooking this the juice from the chicken is going to come out okay so um, and you can see the well i would say the turmeric that i have is not very kind of um uh not too strong the color but i think uh, there's some yes, yes. like this this is the one that see it's not very it's quite weak yeah. in color but they, they are some, orangey, like, very strong. Yeah. it is yeah so mm. it'll make that the dish looking a bit even better yeah yes yeah, so you have a nicer color yeah let me just put this back here and then do you have any more questions then Um, someone was asking if questions? the Queen's recipe is available for sale. Yes, it is. So if you want to get uh, actually the two copies of the cookbooks, you have to go to uh, Che Che Minah Sayang. So C H E M I N A H Sayang S A Y A N G dot com. Right. So I think uh, Jackie is going to put the link uh, there for people uh, to see. So that's why you can yeah, uh, uh, order just, the book. Yeah, just put the link up there. Minah Sayang dot com. Yeah. Sayang. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, her Majesty kindly enough gave me a couple of uh, copies of her cookbooks. They're massive, huge, right? And then it's like beautiful recipes in there. Because uh, last year I was filming my cooking show, and then um, I asked uh, Her Majesty um, to uh, to contribute one recipe, so one uh, one of her favorite recipes. So she she gave me one recipe for my cooking show actually when I was filming it in the UK. And then at the same time she sent me a couple of copies of her cookbook. So yeah. Mm. <laughs> So the books are still in the, in the UK, actually, in one of the boxes. I'm supposed to uh, bring them over to the Netherlands. Mm. OK. I got a hello, so, from, hello gonna... from Frankfurt, from Lisa Yo. Oh, Someone oh, Lisa. from Frankfurt, says hi. Lisa. Yes, hi, Lisa. So Lisa was one of the guests uh, last month. I mean, she cooked along with the, Well, she cooked along, yeah. and then um, Chef Renee was co-hosting. Yes. How yes. are you, Lisa? And Susan, Susan Tan from KL oh, as Susan. well. Yeah, yeah, she's my, um, <clears throat> let me just show you. She's my very good friend, uh, good mm -hmm. friend, along together with uh, Kat Mac, Fatima Ismail. Yep. So we kind of like uh, the three musketeers. It's <laughs> <Wow. laughs> so three of us, yeah. <laughs> so I haven't seen them for a couple of years now, so I need to go back and catch up with them. I'm just um, sorry, clear yeah. mass here. Another first. question, I think uh, I saw it yeah. on YouTube. Is the is the cookbook uh, in English or is it multilingual? <clears throat> Multi bilingual. So, so you, there's a recipe well, in lingual. in English, and it's also the recipe in in Malay. Yeah. Oh, so uh, bilingual. Yeah, so bilingual. Yeah, that's it. Let me just study up a bit here. Oh. And so, someone for surviving one day looks very happy. <clears throat> what, sorry? Someone from, from Brunei calls surviving one day is saying, woo! <laughs> <laughs> and Annie Thompson says good morning. <laughs> from Hello, UK. Annie. So it must be early for her, like uh, in, in the UK. So I bet it's uh, wet and grey as well, like in Netherlands here. Yeah. Esther, from, Esther from Ipoh as well. 
Esther, <laughs> so, so Esther's been, she's been religiously like cooking all my recipes, my herb recipes for, for my wow. cooking show because uh, she she was so inspired and I sent her all the recipes, I think about 26 recipes for my cooking show, the one I did in the UK. So, <laughs> yeah, so she's, I think she, yeah, now she's keep posting me all the photos and then keep asking yeah. me to guess like which one is dish. So that was still, I mean, like three years ago and I'm trying to remember mm. everything. So that wasn't easy. <laughs> you also got Lata from Klang. Klang. Hello, Lata. How are you doing? And okay, Shean right. from Sha'alam. Who, who, sorry? Shean from Sha'alam. Hello, hi, how are you? So, uh, yeah. Okay, so um, you can see that it's boiling away now, so which I'm gonna mm -hmm. simmer it down. Wow. Okay. So you can see it's uh, still lots of sauce. I must say mm. that the the coconut milk that I use here is uh, is is quite thick, and then you can see it nice mm. and creamy. Yeah. Yeah. So um, and then after forty five minutes, like a magic, which I'm gonna put this away first. Mm. And then ta -da. Ta -da. <laughs> You can see it's yeah, all dry now. Before. Yeah. So this is what I cook. I simmer before, and then you can see the oil. Kind of a start separating now so obviously the oil from coconut milk yeah so mm -hmm. and also a bit of our oil that we used as well before yeah and so i mean i can see that the yes, sauce I is have. quite thick <laughs> what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put a bit of um water just just a bit of water anyway just to take it uh, to like let it not so thick lah. yeah would you would you recommend adding more santan is that no, I think, of, well, the recipe says about two, two and a half. Mm. Sorry, steam up a bit. So two and a half uh, cups. So I put measure about 400. The only thing mm. about like, if you put too much uh, coconut milk, it'll take away all these flavors, all other, other flavors mm. from the spices. Okay. So you overpower the rest now. Yeah, so mm. it's going to be too creamy. And then you're yeah, not yeah. going to taste. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm just gonna turn down a bit. I'm gonna grab a plate. Okay, be back in a minute. Gil, Gil says good morning. Huh? Gil call. You call? Uh, Gil or Jill. <laughs> or Jill. Oh, yeah. Gil call. Let me just find a good plate to bowl to serve this. And I'm As I Asham, watching from KL. Well. So, uh, let me just see. And Chef, Chef Hamini Yakub from Pullman KLCC. Oh, Chef Hamini, yes. Yeah. So I met him, uh, I think about three, four mm. years ago because I was doing the uh, Ramadan buffet at Pullman. Mm. So that's why, that's why I met him. Yeah, it's very nice, nice guy. Right. I'm back. Wow. Presentation is has to be good, okay? So mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> right, let me just uh, clear this away first. <clears throat> so for anyone watching, don't forget, like uh, in two hours' time, I mean, there'll be uh, Zaleha will be cooking as well yeah another dish from the book mm -hmm. well i think if you use like a fresh coconut milk you're going to see more of the uh, oil coming out yeah so yeah, separate yeah. from this dish but let me just uh, have a bit of taste first i know tani see you can't taste this but i'll taste it on your mm -hmm. behalf okay? i can imagine already <laughs> <laughs> look at that oh just that uh, now i'm gonna I'm not going to put any chicken in because it's going to be quite hot actually. So I'm going to taste this. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Really good. Mm, yeah. Can you imagine? I'm not going to put anything else because I think it's enough like uh, seasoning, salt and everything. Mm -hmm. And then the sugar, I didn't put too much because uh, coconut milk itself is quite sweet. Mm -hmm. Well, for me it's sweet because I don't like uh, if it's too sweet. I think the longer you simmer it, okay, the more oil can come up. Let me just yeah. um, show you. 
yep. it steam out. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Just now the Korean the coriander, remember? Uh when do you add it? Uh? Or oh, as a garnish on it, right? Later. Uh, the, the celery, the celery, you mean? Oh, that's right. Yeah, celery. Yeah, the celery and also the uh, spring onions. I'm gonna garnish mm. it on top. Okay. So mm. I think this should be okay now. Yeah. So let me just uh, put this back here. Mm. I can surface. Mm. How are we doing with the time? Yeah. It's like, I mean, it's so easy for simple for everyone to, to do this. You got plenty of time, Norman. Plenty of time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In that case, I'm going to make my dish looking so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the man himself. <laughs> wow. Very you know, big how, it's hard work to look pretty at him, but again, I don't think I'm mm. that pretty enough. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I just dropped the phone. <laughs> well, oh, well, Norman is, <laughs> well, Norman is getting organized. Again, just a quick shout out to all our viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we've got we've had quite a people, a uh, lot of people tuning in from all over the world, primarily from uh, Malaysia, in fact. Uh, so we've got people from Klang. We have Tourism Malaysia from Brunei tuning in. So well, oh, wow. uh, welcome Hello. to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, che Anne from Sha Alam, Gil Kao. Uh, Chef Dave was admiring your clothes early, earlier, Norman. My what? My what? <laughs> your clothes. Chef Dave <laughs> said you're baka Of course, for the queen. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. I want to expect more from you, Dave, okay? So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gil, Gil is watching from uh, the UK, uh, Chef, Chef Rene, obviously, from Dubai, yeah. uh, Meg Tan from Penang, and um, yeah, uh, Sabra Smith from Australia, uh, Cairo from uh, Belgium, and we have your uh, Pullman Hotel, Chef Mehdi yeah. Jakob, saying that they still really, use yeah. your recipes from your menu from all oh, those really? years back. So oh, yeah. there you go. It's good, it's good yeah, high praise indeed. Yeah. <laughs> You know you're doing something right if uh, Malaysians actually use your recipes. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Malaysians are very critical, but uh, thank you. Thank you, Chef Amidi. <laughs> yeah, for well, those of you who are not familiar with uh, the Queen of Malaysia, Tengku Aziza, her cookbooks are actually a preservation of the culture and heritage of uh, traditional Pahang uh, cuisine. So she spends a lot of time and effort to bring together all the beautiful traditional recipes from even the aborigines in Pahang into oh, these really? two yeah. compilations yeah so um there's quite a uh, labor of love so make sure you check out cheminasayang.com if you want to get a hold of them there's actually two copies once for uh, once the cookbook and the other one's also a cookbook but for sweets and desserts only right so go and have a look and like norman was saying they're huge but uh definitely well worth the investment no, so make really sure you check them it. out yeah a lot yeah. of nice recipes okay good so i have the dish ready now okay so you can see like uh, uh it's nice it's like it's actually it looks like a like a tiny say like a korma but again this is like a richer so but korma yeah. you taste more of a cumin a coranda but this is actually really good so now i have <laughs> uh, a mixture of Spring onion, which I've already uh, chewed in this. Okay, so, mm -hmm. uh, so it's celery. So I'm just gonna garnish on top. I think you can see it. Wow. Okay. Looks good. <laughs> so just. I was thinking like putting some chilies, but I think it's going to look just good like this only mm. just with the green and yellow. So you don't have to ruin it with chilies. Mm. Okay, so here we go. Look at that. That looks amazing. Um, mm. By the way, uh, Chef Dave has taken your challenge, um, Norman. He says that when it's his turn, he will see up makeup. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> well, his sangol is going to be as high. As he yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure the, the hair is going to hit the ceiling, I'm sure. <laughs> I've lost my tinted already. So uh, let me just uh, do the close up of this. So okay. See it better. Cool. Yeah. All right. So um, sure. there you go. Mm -hmm. now, that looks incredible. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Beautiful. So it's yeah. nice and creamy. I love the sauce. It's nice mm. and creamy, actually. Yep. So for so those of you who are just tuning uh, in, this is called uh, Ayamasa Unkap. 
And yeah, I'm not familiar with this dish at all. Yeah. No, I'm not familiar with this dish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, to be honest, like if you must, well, if you have cooked uh, rendang before, mm. then this is going to be like so easy for you. Yeah, yeah, so, yes. so easy. Sure. You watch, uh, you watch the steps, how I, I did this, um, mm. all, getting all the ingredients ready. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's so simple, really, really simple. Mm. Perfect. Great. Yeah. That looks amazing. Yep. All right. Good, good. Well, okay, thank you so good. much. And okay. um, Tanis, yeah, I want to just ask you a couple of questions about what you do. For those of you who are not, I'm sure everyone watching would be familiar with Tanis. Tanis Lim, like I said, is the undisputed king of blogging over in Brunei. And <laughs> Tanis Brunei. actually, <laughs> Tanis is a, a, an award-winning food blogger. And he is uh, he gets to travel everywhere and he gets to experience food. And in fact, uh, he actually knows how to cook yes. himself as well. He has more followers yes, yes. than any of us, actually. So how, I know. how is that? How is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We actually you hate you that officially, love you more. Exactly. People, people love you more than any of the MOMC chefs. Oh, no, no, no. That. <laughs> yeah, we got to recruit him for MOMC at heart, get him to cook some more uh, dishes for us. So anytime yes, you're ready. But Tanis is extremely, extremely busy. He's in high demand. So uh, very, very grateful that you were able to uh, co-host this particular session. Oh, what are you to working be here. on at the moment, then, Tanis? Oh, I mean, like, December, December is a busy time in Brunei. I think because we, we got zero zero cases for COVID at the moment. So yeah. uh, lots of events are happening. Like, then I, and at the same time, of course, we got a lot of, uh, I think I got a lot of work-related stuff like, here. So very hard to commit <laughs> to, to doing oh. all that. Do you have, do you have your own team or you work by yourself? Um, I usually work by myself, but I usually have a group of people I work together with that like we collaborate. La. I wouldn't say it's a team la, because you know, yeah. like, I, I wish I have a team to actually film and all that, but <laughs> it's, it's all voluntary basis la, at the moment. Yeah. We do well, make, sure, make sure you guys look up Tanis. Uh, Tanis, where can we uh, find you online? Well, just, just look for me on uh, tanislim.com where I write all my... Uh, travel travel guides and you can also get me an instagram at tanis lim tanis lim yeah great yeah, and uh dr hamima says hello chef norman jackie and tanis great to have you join us uh hamima thank you thank you everyone yeah all right guys uh thank you so much for norman uh that's that officially kicks off our month of cooking recipes from her majesty yep. queen aziza's cookbooks so again for those of you who are interested you can look up cheminasayang.com we posted the link earlier but we'll post it again um but in just uh, over an hour Zaleha, that rendang lady, Zaleha Olpin is going to be joining us and she's going to be cooking another recipe from the Queen's Cookbooks. Mm. And she will be hosted this time around by Marco D from uh, originally from the Kent in the UK and who is now based in Malaysia. So make sure you guys uh, set your clocks and come back and join us in just over an hour. And for those of you who are interested, Norman is actually in a few minutes. Uh, after this, he's going to be also doing another cooking demonstration. And this time it's to do with a healthy uh, tweak to Southeast Asian cooking. And this is what we call our SEA Seafood Revolution. And if you're interested in tuning into that, uh, just have a look over on Facebook. All right. And that's posted across uh, yeah. some of our Facebook profiles as well. But we'll see you back here in a few minutes for that. And right after that, we'll have Saleha. So we've got a full essentially a essentially a, a streaming marathon for you guys all to do with beautiful malaysian cooking <laughs> all right guys thank you so much again yes norman okay. any last words no that's it yeah thank you very much for watching and i hope i've inspired you to cook this dish it's very simple and easy so it's nice for yeah. family uh yeah so you can have it with rice obviously so serve it with rice yeah so uh and then see you again in future oh actually on 31st of december i'm gonna be back again Right, with Jackie and also Liam from South Africa, right? So we do the yes. finale for 2020. So wow. that's something Correct. for everyone to join in. Yeah? That's right. So, yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. And hopefully we'll get some of our past guests to join us as well yeah. in the special session on yeah, New yeah. Year's Eve wow. celebration of MOMC yeah. to finish off the year. Um, thank you so much, Tanis. Any last words okay. from you? Tanis. Well, I, I, I really enjoy looking at this dish because it's really something new. I have not seen something like that. And, and to know that it's so easy, I'm going to be making it soon. 
Perfect. Make sure you post it on Instagram and tag all of us there. All right. Sure, sure, we we'll do. I'll, I'll okay, go. guys, thank you again so much, and we'll see you back in a little bit, and we'll bump out with Tourism Malaysia again in the meantime. We'll see you later. Okay, bye. Ha ha ha!